Hey everyone, so it's Zach from Inventables and today we're doing the Maker Spotlight series with Bob from I Like to Make Stuff. How you doing? Pretty good, Bob. How you doing? Doing very well. Thanks for coming. So first, uh, obviously you like to make stuff. I do. <laughs> but tell me, like, how, how did you get started in all this stuff? I've been making stuff my entire life uh, in different degrees. Legos and toys and you know furniture and all sorts of stuff. And uh, it got to a point to where I, I just really wanted to start sharing how I was doing things. Mm -hmm. And so uh, making videos and making uh, tutorials was kind of a good progression for that for me to be able to share some knowledge. That's cool. So, uh, did you go to school for like engineering or? No, I went to an art school. Uh, so I I did get some like uh, 3D building. You know, I did some physical building of things, uh -huh. um, and just kind of have an art background in general. But mainly, I'm a software guy. Oh, software guy. So, like, what's your what's your uh, official job? Um, I'm a kind of front end software developer right now. So, okay, yeah. and so that's like HTML, CSS, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mostly full stack, but yeah, full stack. Okay. Mostly HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Okay, and so um, so how did you get started with uh, your, your your YouTube channel on the website? Um, well, I started um, with a blog, and I was gonna just do these projects and take a lot of pictures and um, do like a really exhaustive how to. And I did a couple of those and found how exhausting it was. <laughs> and so I decided to try video and found that it was just a much better uh, medium for getting an idea across. You know, That's cool. It was easier for me to produce stuff and I enjoyed it more. And, and I think the reaction has been a lot better to that format. So, so you had a full-time job doing uh, software stuff and then you're doing this sort of as like a hobby on the side? Yeah. yeah. And then, so yeah, so how's it how, how long ago was that when you started? Um, I started about a year and a half ago, okay. and about a year ago really started to uh, focus on it and really make an effort. Before that, it was just kind of like whenever I had time, but now I put myself on a schedule, and so for the last year, it's been a really steady uh, growth. I've noticed that you're, the number of projects you're doing has really picked up. Yeah, um, it's not as fast as a lot of other people on YouTube that they have schedules usually like a week. Okay. And I mean, I have four kids and I have, you know, a job and all this you stuff. You have four kids? I have four kids. Wow. Uh, and my oldest is seven. So four young kids. And um, so my time is, is very valuable to me. So I shoot for about every two weeks. That's cool. And then uh, I also, you did the, the shop tour on your site. How big is your shop? My shop is smaller than a one car garage. Smaller than a one. So I, I shot that with a GoPro, which has a really wide angle lens. So yeah. it actually looks a lot bigger than it is in the video, but it's it's very small. So it's impressive that you make all that stuff in such a small space. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's it's a challenge. <laughs> so 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 uh, let's, let's talk about projects. Like, what are some of the projects you're really excited about right now? Um, well, I've been doing a pretty. I always do a pretty wide variety of stuff. Uh, recently, I did a, a hidden, like a secret door, like a bookcase that opens into a secret room. Okay, really cool. cool. Um, but more on a smaller scale, I. I did some stuff at Maker Faire. I took the, my CNC, my yeah. Shapeogo, and had kids come up. I cut a bunch of pallet slats down into little squares. Okay. And uh, kind of had those ready. And then kids would come up and tell me their name mm -hmm. and a, like a little a heart or a star or something they wanted. I would put it right into easel, cut it right out, and literally they would walk up. Three minutes later, they're walking away with a coaster, and they thought it was the coolest thing in the world. So you're like, it's like a coaster factory. Yeah, pretty much. Portable coaster factory. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we, we have a lot of customers um, that are just getting started on this stuff. Uh, you know, maybe they tried Easel for the first time, and they don't even have a machine yet, or maybe they just bought their first machine. Um, what kind of advice do you have for somebody getting started? You've been doing this for about at least 18 months on the blog. Yeah, I, I think uh, it's really important to find something that you need, like a problem that you have personally that you want to solve or, or something like that. And then you are a lot more motivated to figure out what you need. That If you have the problem, then you'll figure out the tools you need. You'll figure out the, the how to solve the problem. And you'll be a lot more invested in getting to the solution. And once you do get to that first solution, you'll have a nice win. And then you'll be motivated to do it again and then do it again. And it snowballs from there. Cool. All right. You heard it here first from Bob, who likes to make stuff. Find something you need and get that first win.